Hello, this is the Radical Reviewer, taking a look at books that were and are reminiscent and essential to my beginnings in radicalism, punk, and alternative culture. This is the Radical Reviewer's six nostalgic books on punk and alternative culture. Number six and number five, The Scavenger's Manifesto and The Art and Science of Dumpster Diving. These books are about getting out from under the consumerist shut up and shop of the dominant culture. The Scavenger's Manifesto is much more history, justification, and the importance of reuse, recycle, scavenging, etc. And the art and science of dumpster diving is more of a practical how-to style guide. I have to mention these works together because they deal with the same thing. The consumer culture is wasteful, destructive, and alienating, and the counterculture of trade, scavenge, recycle, repurpose, etc. helps the environment, feels rewarding, and builds community. Number 4. The Stolen Sharpie Revolution When it comes to alternative culture and literature, the term zine obviously comes to mind. You know, the little books of folded paper you've seen at your local record store, bookstore, protest, street fair, etc. This little and somewhat scatterbrained book, Stolen Sharpie Revolution, is a guide to zine creation, distribution, and zine culture in general. Number 3. Hardcore, Marginalized by Choice. This book is like the movie Decline of Western Civilization 3 in book form, full of interviews and anecdotes about punk and alternative culture. Although this book is almost 10 years old and somewhat out of touch with the current scene that flared up in punk culture during the Bush years, like watching Decline of Western Civilization, it gives a little history, some personal bios, and is great for anyone interested in or interested in joining alternative scenes and countercultures. Number 2. Days of War, Nights of Love. This book is a compilation of everything frustration, understanding, justification, ethos, and philosophy about alternative culture. It's jarring. It's in your face. It's a jumbled mess. It's everything I've been struggling with for the last decade. Breaking down pointless and destructive social norms, breaking from enculturation, rethinking social interactions, economic interactions, the very concept of community. Although some aspects of this book seem cheesy and rigid to me now, this book was important for me trying to understand this destructive culture and alternatives to it growing up, and it has important lessons for me now. Before we get to my top pick, here are some honorable mentions. Your Scene Sucks, Surviving on the Streets, Revolution for the Hell of It, and Off the Map. And finally, number one, Making Stuff and Doing Things. This book is a collection of how-to guides from various zines and as such, functions like a how-to guide on radical culture in general. With everything from alternative feminine hygiene products, sex tips, how to make patches and pins, to urban farming, self-education, and ethics, this book is an all-in-one essential guide to living against the dominant narrative, or as the book itself says, this is about becoming independent from others' agendas and living life as far out of the system as possible. If you're interested in radical theory, looking for a book recommendation, or whatever, you can get your radical book reviews here with the Radical Reviewer. Thanks for watching.